Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. In this video, I made a poop slider with the bin for FlashForge AD5X 3D printer. Let's scratch today's project. First, I'm going to talk about this and then I will show you how to install it. Then after that, I'm just going to go over how I made these. Every multicolor 3D printer needs something like this, like a slide or something to catch all the poops because for the AD5X here, the poop is at the back. So when the 3D printer purge or poop the filament, it has a slingshot that hits the filament poop and send it flying to your room everywhere in your house it's gonna be a big mess so that's where this comes in i 3 d modeled this for the 85x and it's pretty simple to install i will show you how to install it and this is the bin i designed this bin to fit with the slide of course right i made these cool cutouts just for fun you know yeah, i can make them hexagon square triangle whatever but i made these s which scratch the your printing right so it's pretty cool but by doing this you can see that it prints kind of weirdly right this part is blue light blue this is dark blue light blue and dark blue it has that pattern but the 85x i think it prints pretty well this piece part comes out really amazingly and you can print this bin without any support which is amazing oh and i forgot the slide here you can print this line without any support except support needs to be here and here just for this because there's no other way to 3d model this to make it print without any support the model prints laying flat like this you don't need any support there is a huge support right here that you need to have but i made a custom support for this so that you don't have to use the support tree on the slicer and waste all that materials the support tree is going to build from here go all the way up here and that is just a huge waste of material so i decided to you know just make custom support and this one is very easy to take off so once you print this piece you just use your fingernail you just push this in or if it's a little bit too hard just use something and push it in like this or or push it out like this just like that and once this frees off you can just peel it off oh that is so satisfying so once you have that off there might be some residue left behind just use like just use something to knock those off or you can just use the bin and just keep sliding back and forth until all of this is off and the bin slides smoothly or you can put some lubrication in there if you have a deburn tool like this you can use it to clear this very easily just one slice like that flip it around just like that just quick one tool like that and it's perfect so now we can have the bin sliding in very smoothly like that well it's, it's not like this but enough with this let's just go to install this one more thing about the poop chew here flashforge does not have an online website like creality cloud where you can upload stl files so i'll be uploading this file to creality cloud and to maker online because those two platforms are the ones that i use the most so i'll upload them there and leave a link down below so you can go ahead and download this yourself first of all you need two allen wrench um, these are the one that comes with the 3d printer so you should have them you need to remove these two screws but from what i have seen the older version of the ad5x doesn't have these two screws so if that's if that's the case just let me know and i'll try to make a different version of it but First, remove these two screws. Be very careful. Don't lose these two screws. I lost them already, but I found them. Next, you want to remove this screw right here too. Not this one, this one. You can figure it out if you put the slide next to the 3D printer. You will know which one, so remove this one. And that one requires a bigger Allen wrench. Okay, so now that all three screws are removed, it's time to put in the slide. The slide is gonna go on like this. My recommendation is to put the two screw in here first. Just like that. Just like this. Don't tighten them fully yet. Just make sure it's secure. Now we're gonna install this screw back. It will be very easy to install because I made, I made a hole right there and all right there so you just put the screw in there put the allen wrench through here and then screw it in it's not gonna be the best angle but i recommend putting the allen wrench through and then put the screw in and then find the hole then we just screw it all the way in there make it tight like that and now we can go ahead and finish these two screw up here now that we are done with all of that you can just slide in the bin like this it's gonna fit perfectly voila look at that 
that is such a nice finish. Look at this. Just look at this. It lines up so well. Even this corner right here. Even this corner right here just goes whoop, like that and then just slide down to the bin. It's such a amazing design and I'm actually kind of proud of it. Yeah, <laughs> not gonna lie. So when the poops come out, it's gonna go slide in there. And if you're finished, you just need to remove, just pull it, dump it, and then line this up and just push it back. So simple and amazing, secure, everything is perfect. Some of you might say that the poop might fly out from here, but from what I have tested, the poop just come in, bounce down, and sometimes the filament poop gets stuck to this wall, gets stuck here. So I heard that if you put some Kapton tape on the slide, you tape it onto the slide, it will help prevent the filament from sticking to the slide, which is a good idea. So if that problem arises, just buy some Kapton tape. I'll leave a link down below for some Kapton tape and you can just tape it onto your slide so that your poop does not get stuck here. Oh, and by the way, if you want or need a bigger bin, just let me know and I'll try to make a bigger bin. But from what I have seen here, not quite sure if the, a bigger bin is possible. Maybe extend this over here. But for those people that have limited space, I feel like this is perfect. And this slide is way bigger than the slide I made for the Anycubic Cobra S1 and so much bigger than the K2 Plus. People said the slide of this is too small, it keeps getting clogged. So hopefully this one is so much better. Well, that'll be it for this video of me making the poop true poop slide for the AD5X. So now I'm just gonna talk how I model this. I'm not here to brag or anything like that, but I modeled this whole thing in just in like two hours. Model, print, test, and then remodel it again, just in two hours, which is crazy. The ones that I made for the Cobra S1 and the K2 Plus, it took me two days. So going from two days just to two hours, I'm happy about it. So the first thing that I did is measure the two screw hole and I just 3D print this really quickly, test it, and it fits perfectly. So once I have this, I went ahead and continued the design. The second revision or design is this whole slide right here. And this whole slide, it's not finished yet. It still has sharp corner, not refined. There's no curve here. I was just testing the fit of these two screw again, testing the length here, and then testing this curve here. And it actually fits pretty well. So I just keep using the design. And of course, you need support right here. Once I print this and fit it and it fit well, I just measured this corner right here and just model that in there. After that, I did another remodel to make the connection, the dovetail joint. I was thinking of using the similar connection I used on the Cobra S1, but that is not really secure. Sometimes it might come off. So I just went with a dovetail joint just to make it super secure. And then it comes this part. So this was the first part of the dovetail joint test piece and so you can see there i made the support here i made a custom support here for the joint but this one was so hard to remove that i had to make another redesign and that redesign is this new design that you saw earlier it has teeny tiny attachment to the actual slide so that it supports the dovetail joint and it does not sag so you can print it really nicely and have the connection very nicely to it and then you can just rip it off very easily. That took two tries and I'm still proud of it. I have done all of those. I just model everything and then print and boom, that's what I get. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below. What do you think about this poop catcher? And if you have any suggestions, upgrades for the poop slider catcher in the bin, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and as always, keep on 3D printing.